chapters. It's all right. I, yeah, I need to take it all in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, welcome to Joy 99.7. Thank you for having me, George. How are you doing? It's been a bit. I know. It has been. I'm really excited for this. It's, I've been good. I mean, when my producer told me you're going to be speaking to Kwame, I was the one who's doing Kwame. I, <laughs> I mean, this is Emmanuel. From I Stars know. of the Future fame. <laughs> when of Stars of the Future, is it season four or five? Five, huh? Five, the last wow. season. Wow, wow, wow. So after you, there was no Stars of the Future again? No. <laughs> you, you killed the show? No, I just killed the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's been, it been, it's been a pretty long time. Yeah, How have you been? been, seriously? I've been good. You stopped good. doing music? No, I'm still doing music. So where have you been with the music? Been. Wow, George. <laughs> okay, I, I think I've just... Um, I've not been making that much noise mm -hmm. as I'm supposed to. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I got I got so comfortable with the peace and quiet ah, you know, out of the media ah, and ah, out of the public eye for a very ah, long time. Ah. It's priceless. <laughs> After stars of the future media star, you decided to put the star down and hide. <laughs> not yeah. like that. The yeah. pressure yeah. day. <laughs> pressure. Eh? The pressure is too much. When you're in town, the girls will be worrying you. People will be asking you for money and all that. Uh, that is part of it. Which one, the girls or the money? Or both? Both. <laughs> <laughs> because you can't say, just a day. But what did you enjoy mo most about being famous? Oh, my goodness. It's the attention. Mm. Yo, it's the attention and getting VIP passes to almost every major event. That's just exciting. You don't really have to buy tickets or anything. I think it was mostly the attention. It was, it was, it was fun. So Stats of the Future was good. Oh, Stats of the Future was good. But I've read recently somewhere that you said the reality TV shows didn't help you guys much. I know. <laughs> okay, so um, this was this was how the conversation went at that mm -hmm. particular interview. Um, they were talking about the fact that what, uh, most times the winners of the reality shows don't really get to be able to do much yeah. and everything. And w this was my take on it. I was saying that um, it's because whenever you win a reality show, I mean, I have a lot of colleagues from other reality shows. Whenever you win a reality show, instead of um your 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 individual talent being hewn and perfected um there is that pressure for you to be commercial instantly do you get it um i come out comparing stars of the future and mentor and all the um the reality shows here yeah. to um shows like um, american idols if you look at american idols winners you can see you can get some solid country music artists in there you can get some r b artists in there you can get some pop artists in there do you get it and they in the same way you can get artists that never blew after winning yeah you'll get the artists in fact, that never blew. a lot more of those get, than those do, that yeah won that's blew. true that's yeah. very true you do get it but what i was trying to say is um instead of um all the all the winners or all the um talents that come from the reality shows being um forced to be all commercial and everything why don't we look at the individuality and the uniqueness of that particular artist because i'll be honest with you george you know me i'm a singer singer give me a microphone put me on that stage and i'm going to give out my soul i wouldn't necessarily jump around on that so doing yo yo and all those kind of things you get it so i wouldn't necessarily go um extremely commercial in in a moment but there is a market for my kind of music the, the corporate events and the exclusive shows. so instead of the pressure that they put on the winners to be um commercial and make that hit why don't we look at creating unique and different records do you get it and and nurturing unique and different artists because but is it the organizers that push them to be commercial or is it society Again? Is it is it organizers that push the winners to be commercial, or is it society? Is it the expectations of society? Because, like you rightly said, mm -hmm. Wiela hasn't bothered about what she does. She's mm -hmm. still doing her stuff. Yeah, she's still doing you understand? Yeah. You may not find Wiela, and I've heard a lot of December shows being advertised. I haven't heard the name Wiela in even one of them. Exactly. But Wiela is probably one of the biggest acts we have from this country touring yeah, the world. That's true. You understand? There's another act, Atongo Simba. Mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. King Isoba and all of them. Mm -hmm. They may not be your out and out commercial people, but they are doing their stuff and they are doing pretty well. Yeah. So, how is it the fault of the organizers? Oh, wait, for, this, this is what I would say. Um, let me answer your question. The pressure comes from both the, um, the society and the organizers. Mm. Because from my experience, and I'm going to be very bluntly honest, if I'm going to be attacked, sorry for that, but this is it. Um, it's 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 as if the the experience you have is as if the organizers put so much money into the show you need to make them the money back so in in whichever way possible because um <clears throat> i did have some meetings during my season and i remember i was sharing these kind of things i've not shared it in a while where on 
at one meeting, I was blatantly told that, you know what, get this person to write him a song. It necessarily doesn't have to make sense. It just has to be a hit. And for someone who is a soulful singer mm-hmm. like myself, that wouldn't sit well with me. Would you? Did we do, did we do that? It worked. We did. We got um, a, a very famous songwriter to write me the song. But after recording it, I was being managed by Bulldog then. After recording it, Bulldog knew that he just told it, Imano, you're not into this. And I was like, no, because this is not my it's voice. It's not you. This is not me. Do you get it? And we, yeah. I remember we did record about two or three records. That was me. And it was in the meeting, it was pushed aside. So at that point in time, I, reality hit me that, listen, nobody's going to listen to you. Organizers need to make their money back. Al- aside the fact that um, the society also feels we voted for you and we put you out there. So you have to definitely give us a hit. Do you get it? That pressure is <laughs> there. But, but you know, just for clarity, organizers don't make money back from the song you release, song you re- songs you release after your work. The money doesn't go to them. That is yours. That is yours, by the way. Well, so I think the organizers <laughs> just want to help make you a star well, in your best interest. I you understand? understand that, but I'm, listen. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry. Let's focus on your new song. Uh, wh- where's Wilbert? I mean, you, you have a new song out. Yes, I have. Maybe this is going to be the one. <laughs> well, I think so. Okay, so if, even if it's not the one, I just love to put it out. What, what, what's mean, it called? Medal. Medal. Is yeah, it a love medal. song? It's actually a love song. It's it's a love song that took time ah, for me. The to last see. time I met you, you were a gospel artist. I am still a gospel artist. That's What's a gospel artist doing singing a love song? Why can't a gospel artist sing a love song? Uh, what kind of love song is it? Thank you. Now let's get to that. Uh-huh. Good. I want so, to understand. Um, this is this this was my take. I noticed that one. I get invited for weddings and everything, and I don't get to sing my original song. Now, when I look at some of the other songs out there, I- even when aside the oldies. Most of the new songs that come most times want to objectify women. Do you get it? Yeah. We are more concentrated on the body and all those kind of things, not the virtues and everything. So my manager was my, my manager told me, okay, let's just do something different. If we say we want to really make an impact in the industry, then let's add our voice in a very positive way. So I wrote to Medal, but rather um, celebrating more of the virtues of the uh, of, of 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 my partner in um, talking figuratively. So um, you're married. What did you say? Are you married? No, not yet. Ah, uh, when you said your partner, I, I said I, figurative. I, I refuse to you hear that. <laughs> thing. Yes. We just wanted clarity. George and Ad, you know. <laughs> I just wanted to. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, not all the listeners here work like figuratively and uh, yeah, literally and. George, uh, you're going to start uh, trouble. <laughs> so you are not married. I'm not married. Girlfriend. <laughs> uh, right? gu- girlfriend. No, not no, no. I don't have a girlfriend. Oh. At the moment, I don't. You're single. Yes, I'm single. You've been single all along. No, I've not been single all along, but I'm single. Ah, she moment. left you. We are not talking about that, George. Yes, so let's go to Meadow. <laughs> okay, because I'm trying to understand the the inspiration. Well, I, re- <laughs> the hair, I need to. Oh, you know, George. Usually, musicians are inspired. They fall in love. <laughs> you know. Uh-huh. Well, our create our creative mind for our imaginative mind also falls in love. Okay, so <laughs> you did Meadow for your wedding <laughs> audience and stuff like that. Yes, I mean, and I was also looking at okay, my 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 kind of what I see love. To be sorry, yes. my my dream relationship. That's mm. what that's what I was just writing mm-hmm. it from. So I was celebrating more of the beauty with the brains, the the character traits, and all that. Yeah. Because oh. please trust me, the body will change over time. Whose body? My my my. That is why you should you should roll with people like us. Okay, give me. I have been like this since I was fourteen. George, <laughs> George, let's not get to that. Yes, aspect. we we don't change. <laughs> George, I, 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 it's true, you yeah. and I, we don't change. My friend, you're not one of us. <laughs> We're to play the song. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And that's Medo from my man Kwame. His name is Manuel, though. <laughs>
Fresh and brand new. It's showbiz A to Z. And that's the one, that's the one, Medor. Charlie, it's, it's a beautiful song. I love the high life feel, the groove in there. So um, where can people get it? It's, it's on all digital platforms. Okay. And since I'm a guy, I'll promote Aptown. So exactly. So you, you get it on Aptown. Aptown. I mean, if you type my, um, Medor or my, my name, Kwamina, Spelled K W A M I E N A. You find all my songs there. Oh, you are not using Emmanuel anymore. No, I'm not using. I I rebranded. Oh. Okay. I think uh, I, I won't say rebrand. I evolved. Okay. Over time. Okay. Um, my my sound evolved. It became more Afrocentric, and my style personally evolved. So I thought, okay, why don't we? Th- and after a few travels, um, experiencing other music. Um, platforms internationally i noticed okay i would like to represent ghana i would like to be Makes like sense. original that's Makes why I, I did that well congratulations it's a beautiful song we'll, better has it. we'll drop it right here we wish you the very best Thank and um so yeah yeah looking forward to seeing more of you yeah oh yeah this time right. we hear more <laughs> uh, yeah we need to we need to so is this uh, uh, your manager or girlfriend which one that's my manager that's your manager manager what's your name George, no one knew that there was a lady sitting in here who was my manager. Someone saw it. You had to mention it. No, we are live on Facebook. Oh, okay. Yes, you can see the cameras are all over. So they've seen already. Yes. And what's your name? Uh, Sarah. Sarah. Well, thank you. Yeah, Emmanuel and Sarah sounds nice. It's, it's good. It's good. But thank you very much. <laughs> DJ Black is ready. Yes, DJ Black is ready with the top 10 for the week. Okay, it's five after three. Mr. Black, let's make this happen. Y'all right, y'all ready. 